those two military macaws. Their names are Soy and Wasabi, and they are brothers. So they are just enjoying hanging out next to each other, eating all their favorite treats. Right? I said they are enjoying hanging out, out next to each other, and here they come right to the front. We'll see if his brother comes to join him. This guy's name is Soy right here. All right, so I said we use positive reinforcement. Excuse me. That means that they get all the Pretty loud, right? Peanuts, sunflower seeds, maybe even fruits and vegetables that you guys like to eat. Oh, cool. <laughs> Very cool. This is Selva right here. And so speaking of positive reinforcement, she likes Brazil nuts. So watch, I'm gonna give her a Brazil nut in the shell. Look at this guy's showing off. Selva didn't want that Brazil nut. She just tossed it. No worries, but this guy's showing off just how strong he is with his feet. Now look at, they have strong beaks, but also extremely strong feet. Able to support their whole body weight with just their feet. Now she's using that her, her beak just to break that Brazil nut open. She's able to use her beak and her tongue to manipulate that nut entirely so that she can remove all that yummy meat from the inside of the nut. Besides just being strong though, it's very dexterous. They can even shell a sunflower seed and take the meat in from the inside How of the sun sunflower out? seed out. All right, so you've seen some pretty cool behavior up That's here on the perch. Now, and we're about to show you something that I believe is one of the most fantastic things you'll probably see today. So those of you who have your cameras out, great job. If you don't have your camera out, now is a good time to get it out and put it in slow-mo mode. That's a great way to capture what is about to happen because they're going to show you just what they do best, and that is to fly. We are going to step away, showing them it's time to head out. Now, they've only been out here for about a week and a half now, so they may smartest one. He sees all the treats his buddies have dropped on the ground. Along with them, oh now everyone's going to do it, right? Copycats. They're all going to go check out all the treats that have been dropped. Perfect. Yeah, you guys are getting a great view. You can just stand right here at the edge of the stage. They're going to clean up for us. This is a totally normal part of their training. You know, they are still getting the hint that it's time to leave as we walk away, so I'm going to move myself over here. Besides just all the treats they can get. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Some of them got the hint. <laughs> now these guys can totally hang out out here for as long as they'd like. I said we use positive reinforcement, and that's completely true. They get their favorite treats when they're out here, but you know, let's see, I'm going to give them a help out here. She looks like she's about to go to the ground. We're going to put them back up on the perch, reset them. You can look over there and see our trainers, Megan and Kelsey, are giving them a cue, showing them which direction home is, but also showing them it's time to go home. What do you think of that, Orchard? This is Orchard. <laughs> Greenwing macaw. We're going to put him up here too so he has that good view of Kelsey and Megan back there. Giving him the prompt. I'm also going to remove myself from the situation. We've been working with these birds for about a year now. So that means that we have a pretty strong relationship with them. Which also means that if we are around, that can mean that's enough for them to want to hang out. There we go. Orchard got the hand. How are you older? He's the only one though. <laughs> right? They're all having a good, they're having a good time staring at all of you because they are very intelligent animals. Just as curious about all of you as you are about them. I'm gonna move myself a little bit more. Because you know they do enjoy hanging out with us. I mean, who can blame them? But I'm gonna move myself, move myself a bit more. Still give them a good view as so they can see Kelsey and Megan over there, giving them a good wave, showing them which way is home. But like I said, positive reinforcement means this is totally normal. They're allowed to hang out out here for as long as they want. Looks like Selva's getting ready to go. Oh, and you're getting another flyby by Orchard. He decided to come for an on. And no. <laughs> but again, that is totally okay. They're allowed to sit out here, hang out, see all of you guys. That is totally fine with us. And it actually makes sense. So the two blue and gold macaws who are there on the far left, they're brothers, Jameson and Hennessy. And then these two scarlet macaws are also brothers, Syrah and Merlot. Our older audience members might recognize the connection between the four. <laughs> but pretty cool. They're, you know, they're totally and that's fine. So, I'm going to let them hang out. I'm going to remove myself a little bit more from the situation. I want to thank you all for joining us today, though. Thank you for supporting Wild Places. And